cards have to say here today. Ooh. Cards for the collective reading today. First card out, highest priest. The highest priest knows things you don't know. In fact, you normally have to go to some kind of form of tarot or some kind of uh, divinity to be able to find out what it knows. It knows that the divine feminine, she's operating from her passionate self. She's operating from her desired self. And she's got her light on to her in love story. Yeah, she got her light on to her love story. She's tapped in and tuned in to her lover <laughs> even if you guys are not together even if you guys are not together she's tapped in and tuned in to her love story Ooh, the part of flying down <laughs> that's the truth the divine feminine she's been speaking her truth she's been speaking her truth as long as i've been on this show <laughs> yeah, yeah. divine time is always good to you <laughs> You find gypsies always, the idea of the readings always apply, yeah. So this is Divine Feminine. She's been speaking her truth. She's been crystal clear about what it is she wants or what she's been looking for within her hidden love story. Yeah, she's been talking this truth <laughs> all along, all along. All right. <laughs> too many cards there's a lot of energy going on with that hidden love story what else we got here for the collective the whole card here we go that divine masculine look at his thoughts are getting more crystal clear he wants to come forward and tell you his truth this is the fastest night in the deck hey <laughs> let's see how fast he can come forward and tell you his truth yeah oh he's got his back to the divine feminine though <laughs> he doesn't want her to see that he's He's coming forward that he's getting ready to come tell her how he feels but she's going hey hey I see you there and he's going no I'm not here you don't see me I'm not around you don't see me <laughs> I love it Ooh. he wants to come tell you that he wants to come work together as a team you know we've been laying down the foundation and putting the walls up but he wants to work with you he wants to work with that divine feminine Ooh, nice come on Ooh, he has so much love for you unconditional love there is and there and that divine masculine has nothing but unconditional love for this divine feminine he doesn't always come all forward and tell her though he's got his back turned he wants to come forward and tell you yeah he's got to get the strength to do it <laughs> let's see let's see what the card's gonna say Ooh, to complete to feel on top of the world look at it this love makes that divine masculine feel on top of the world. It makes that divine feminine feel on top of the world, too. But this masculine, he's still thinking about it. It's still in his head, you know. But see the completeness. It's unconditional love that makes him feel whole and complete. So beautiful. All right, what else we got going on for the collective here? Ooh, and everybody, I saw that card, yeah. But it didn't flip all the way over. The Divine Feminine, she's operating from her centered self. She's grounded, she's whole, she's complete, she's listening to her intuition. That's what the Divine Feminine's doing. Look at it, we got the Divine Feminine all in alignment here. She's in alignment. That's what I got to say. <laughs> She's aligned with love. <laughs> it has been a journey. It has had its ups and downs. It has not been a straight road. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it, it does have something to do with a soulmate connection that's from a past life. When these two are actually together, there is so much love. And when there's that much love between them, there's nothing but love all around them. <laughs> There have been choices and options that have come on both of their paths. <clears throat> Not all the options are always good options. Some options, you know, they had to happen to align themselves up for their love story. But it is about choosing from the heart space. Let's choose from our heart. That divine masculine, he goes, well, I got my wand out. I'm going to be operating from my passionate self. I'm going to do a match. I'm going to match what the divine feminine is doing. I just need that light. She's got her light on. Can that divine feminine show me how to get the light on top of my wand? <laughs> this is, you know, working in the same energy. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. the divine feminine will go. Well, you know what? There's a lot of energy that's coming out. <laughs> a lot the divine feminine. <laughs> yeah, she, that, this is how she got that light on top of the, her wand, you know. 
is because she learned how to work with that energy so it no longer is distracting her. It's not holding her back. In fact, it gives her momentum. It gives her strength. It lets her see more clearly to what's going on around her. What else going on for the collective? We're still in that, like, what is it, a lunar eclipse? We're still going to be in that energy. You know, I know we're still strong in the energy. It can go up to six months, but this right now we're just, I mean, we just barely, just just happened about three days ago, okay? Ooh, oh, she's taking those other ones to make union. Things are coming together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, she's having to guard herself for her story to come together wholly and completely. That is a union car that's togetherness, working together as a team, doing the teamwork, you know. Maybe that Divine Masculine is working in the same story. <clears throat> but, it, you know, uh, maybe that's the one he wants to come forward and tell her. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that one back. It is about uh, something solid. A solid offer is coming your way. A brand new offer that's going to make you feel as it's going to make it feel like you're going to have that peacock wings. When that offer comes, you know, you're going to, you know, those feathers of yours are going to ruffle outward. It's like, whew, that's it's like you just like be so excited. You, 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 you don't know what to do, but you do know what to do. But, you know, it's just that, it's that feeling. That's the offer that's coming from, that's the offer that's going to come with it when this union happens, when this comes together. Ooh, <laughs> there is something that's going on with that divine feminine, these thoughts, <laughs> you know. These are things that have already taken place. They could be lack, insecurity, betrayal, uh, certain lies, uh, things hiding. But right now, she's hiding one thought. Maybe she don't want me to tell you, but she's hiding a thought. She's hiding something. Let it, let's see, what is that thought? What is she hiding? <laughs> Whoa. Let's see, let's see. Oh, she's hiding these thoughts. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on? She's all in her head about that thought. Maybe she don't want you to know about it. Come on. Yeah, give me a better card. Give me. Well, she's watering. She's watering something solid. Something stable. Something that's been growing. So she may be thinking about what her next move is with the things that she'd been watering you know like even with with what I'm doing this weekend you know that's my thoughts are into what I've been watering my my gift you know that's something grounded that's solid <clears throat> so maybe that's what she's thinking about it's not a bad thought it's just she's in her head about it Oh, and she also thinking about that emperor. Yeah, she's thinking about him. <laughs> she's wondering. She's wondering if he's going to come forward. <laughs> Is he going to show up at the event? Let's No, I don't know. There's a palm tree there, and there's the emperor there. You know, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen. That emperor, he has been holding himself back for some time. But right now, I think he's just getting a massage to loosen him up so he can come on out. <laughs> come out of hiding. <laughs> he's coming out into the reading, that's for sure. Oh, there has been work that has been done by this Divine Masculine. That's confirmation. A double confirmation. It hasn't been easy, you know. These are roads of challenges. Things have, you know, gotten in the way that have moved through, you know, cer certain things that he's had to lay down to rest, that divine masculine. That's why he was holding himself back because he, he had this work that he had to do to lay down that energy to rest before he can make a forward movement. So that's nice that it comes out and it tells us that. And there, that divine masculine. There, there, he's got the light on his wand now. Yeah, he, he figured it out. Just like I was telling you, the reason why the divine feminine had the light on her wand was because of the work. You know, this energy that she she that came towards her, she applied it and used it. Well, the divine masculine is doing the same thing that's allowing him to be the king, <laughs> the king of the passion, the king of the desire. He knows what 
he wants to do with that wand now. It's all lit up. <laughs> it's all lit up. Ooh. <laughs> that divine masculine. Ooh, look at he's checking her out. <laughs> he's checking out this divine feminine. That one that's grounded. That one that's whole. That's one that's complete. He's checking her out. That's Divine Feminine. She has continued on uh, sharing the light, her thoughts out into the story. You know, she has a hidden love story that she's been sharing out there all along. She's been moving the energy of the thought process out. <laughs> she's, she's, she's going to bang. <laughs> look at she. Put, look at. She got her sword. She's flinging it back to light up the Divine Masculine's wand. <laughs> she, lit, she lit him up. <laughs> she got him on fire. <laughs> what else we got here for the collective? Here? <clears throat> oh, that Divine Masculine again. He wants to come forward. He has a solid offer. He wants to come forward. Correct. He's grounded. He's whole. He's complete. He's been listening to his intuitive self, and that's the truth. I love it. There's a lot of uh, sword energy in this reading, so a lot of adjustment, fine-tuning has been going on with the thought process. There is a decision that's being made about these two coming together, this Divine Feminine. She's operating from her passionate self, her beautiful self. She, she's a beautiful soul because, you know, that's what she she's had to offer. She laid down all these these emotions of the past when she went into hermit mode, lining things up to be so beautiful. So there's nothing but unconditional love. <clears throat> so much love that's going on into this story. <clears throat> For our wishes and dreams to come true. This wish and dream has been out there to the universe for a Divine Masculine and a Divine Feminine to come together so perfectly, so in alignment, so in divinely alignment to come together so they can have their happily ever after love story. It's going to happen magically. You just don't know it. You do have all the tools. See, it's hidden. It's hidden. You feel it. You know it by that, but you don't see it. No, there is so much love going into this connection. It is a hidden love story about this soulmate connection. It's going to come out somewhere or some way. Just not when you think it is. It's going to be a matter of divine timing <laughs> that I have for the collective today.